My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. It is time for a wet weather adventure. I know what you're thinking. Luke, you never do stuff like that. That sounds so unusual. <laughs> for this trip, folks, later on tonight, we have a freezing rainstorm coming in. So I figured we would hike to the top of this mountain, find a place to camp, and we'll see what the weather brings. The one thing about this trail, it sure is steep. Whew. I am definitely feeling it with this heavy loadout. For this trip, I have a tactical style tent with me and it alone weighs 10 pounds. It's kind of funny. The older I get, the more I like going uphill, the less I like going downhill. <laughs> you would think it would be the other way around. Going downhill just kills me, kills my knees. Going uphill, nice and easy. Let me show you all how steep this is. So I'm going to set up the camera completely level. Check this out. That right there is level, my friends. I'm not sure how well that comes through as far as how steep it is, but you can take my word for it. It is steep. It is water time. Real quick here. Unfortunately, I left my watch at the house that tells elevation. I'm not sure how high up I'm going or how high up I've gone. It's quite a bit though. It sure is beautiful, everyone. You couldn't tell that a storm's coming in by looking at the sky right now. We've got some blue sky, high level clouds. It's a little bit breezy. Temperature is around 34 degrees. Feels good, especially with all of this uphill that I'm doing. All right, let's keep on going. I should be getting close to the top here. Not too much longer. Now that we've made it to the road, we have to decide where we're going. We can go, let's see, this way or this way. To describe this area, we're basically on a ridge, the spine of a mountain range. 
and there are camping sites along both sides of this road. Hmm. Well, let's walk. This looks like an interesting option, everyone. Let's go check it out. This, my friends, is not bad at all. It's relatively flat. There's a nice hump here. I can set up my tent on top of that hump and all of the rain, the freezing rain and whatnot, will go around that instead of pull underneath it. Anytime that you go to set up your tent, you need to look at the terrain. See where the water is going to go. Obviously, it's going to come off of the hill. It's going to come down this direction, but there's a huge hump right here and right here. So I could sit up here and be okay. There is a fire pit over here. There's some trees where I could set up a tarp so I could stay dry in the morning. This is not bad, not bad at all. Let's see. I don't know, this looks pretty good too. There's a spot right here for a tent. Yeah, <laughs> that too would work. I think I'm going to set the tent up right here. I have camp almost set up here. Here's the last component. Well, besides the tarp. 
I guess I'll set up a tarp. So almost done. It's been a good trip so far. Quiet, peaceful. It is surprisingly windy though, even though the forecast doesn't call for any wind. So I don't know. <sighs> Welcome to the mountains. Let's take a second here and let's talk about my tent. This is the Light Fighter Fido. This is the civilian version of the military tent that Light Fighter is known for. Right now it's virtually impossible to find new stock of the military tent because apparently the military has a high demand for them right now. That's why Light Fighter brought out the Fido. This is made in Vietnam, whereas the military version is made in the US. For the most part, everyone, it's the exact same tent, just a little bit cheaper. By the way, this is the two person with the cold weather kit. The cold weather kit is rather interesting. Basically, it converts this tent from a three season tent to a fourth season tent. You have a layer of fabric that goes over the top that holds in heat and blocks wind. It's pretty sweet. If you're not familiar with this kit, check out my review. It's top notch. I set up the tarp away from the tent because I'm going to use this opportunity to waterproof test the light fighter. The forecast says that later on tonight, snow, sleet, freezing rain, whatever it may be, that is going to start around midnight. And it should be over by morning, I believe. That's when it's going to get seriously, seriously cold. There is a major, major cold front coming through. That's going to be pretty exciting, just in time for Christmas. There is the possibility of snow with this upcoming storm, but the forecast for that has been so wishy-washy, I decided to come out for this freezing rain event instead. I just picked one. I've been looking forward to this all day. It is coffee time. I'm actually getting pretty hungry too. Damn. I was going to check my watch, but I don't have it. I thought about looking at my phone, but I don't want to take the time to pull it out. As you can see here, I can't be pleased. <laughs> the stove that I brought with me on this trip is a product from Evernew. This is a titanium stove. The company claims it's like a tri-fuel stove. There's an alcohol stove. It can burn wood. It can also be used to burn solid fuel. The alcohol portion, that, that side of the stove, really works well. Everything else is a gimmick, really. The company calls this the turbo plate. Turbo plate, I love that, that is so funny. It does absolutely nothing for this stove. Well, I should say this, if you're going to burn solid fuel in this stove, you need this. But otherwise, it does absolutely nothing. Also, using this tiny thing to burn wood in, you could do it, but I wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> Tiny little twigs. <laughs> That's so funny. I like alcohol stoves quite a bit. While they're not my stove of choice for most trips, there certainly is a time and a place for them. With this one here, there's just so much gimmick to it. With these bags here, this one and this one, I got these off of Etsy. There's a guy on there who makes bags like this out of dynamo material, super, super lightweight. The prices are good, quality's great, I love these. If I can remember to do so, I'll put a link in the description box.
One thing I really dislike about this stove is that there's no way to put it out. So all of the alcohol that you put in it has to burn out. Also, there's no way to simmer. It's all or nothing. For this incredible combo of coffee, I've mixed cappuccino with Bustello and Funky Folgers. What we have here is something so elegant, right? So refined. Oh yeah. Cheers, my friends. Cheers. Huh. Interesting. It's foamy and creamy like a cappuccino, but it tastes like a quadruple espresso shot or something or other. Like it's super, super strong. I like it. <laughs> Actually, it's not bad. I have to admit, I'm a little bit disappointed that it's so windy. I was hoping to have a fire tonight, but I don't know. Maybe, if it calms down, maybe. But as it stands right now, it would just blow all of the heat away. The winds are coming this direction. So it's one of those things, if I have a fire going, it's just gonna blow that heat all over the place and I wouldn't really get to enjoy it. I guess I could start another fire pit over here. I really hate doing that though. I mean, this is the fire pit. I shouldn't scar up the land and make another one. Being good to this campsite is better than having a fire, so I guess I won't. Anytime that you watch an adventure on my channel, it's usually about two to three weeks old, sometimes even as much as a month old. I film my videos in advance, that way if the weather's bad one week or maybe if I get sick or something like that, I still have content to put up for you all. This video should go up after Christmas, possibly before the new year. I'm not really sure exactly, but uh, everyone, how was your Christmas? For myself, it hasn't happened yet, but I know it's gonna be great. Did you all get together with your families, have a good time? For myself, my son came home. He was home from college. My daughter, she was not able to come home. She is actually deployed again. I cannot say where. She has continued to go up in the ranks with her job, and she's at the point now where I really can't even discuss what she does any longer. I think she will be coming home. When did she say that? I don't remember. Sometime next year. Lucas is doing great. Susie's doing great. Speaking of Susie, we need to get her out and film some sort of adventure. We had been talking about going to South Dakota, but it's gotten a little bit late in the year. I'm not really sure what the weather is like there. It's, it's possible, just gotta check on it. But we have also been discussing going to Texas for a trip. As far as the sun goes, we have about an hour and a half of light left. The temperature is definitely dropping. It's in the lower 30s, not quite to freezing. That wind, that makes it kind of miserable. Luckily, this is providing a good block. That's why I decided to go ahead and set this up. That's one reason why I like to carry tarps with me for my adventures. Even if I have a tent, bring a tarp along, you could find ultra light tarps that work really, really well. And they're not always super expensive. If you look for like a seal nylon tarp, they could be super, super lightweight. This one here, this is from Helicon Techs. The weight's not bad, it's not super lightweight but it's a good sized tarp, 10 by 10, and it's offering a ton of protection. If it wasn't for this tarp, I would be in that tent right now. Like it's that cold, it's that windy. Plus, the humidity is going up, I should mention that. That is making everything just a little bit more miserable. Tell you what, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the forecast real quick. So we have a winter weather advisory in effect at 7 p.m., which is three hours from now. Freezing rain expected. Total ice accumulations one to two tenths of an inch. Where? Western North Carolina. From 7 p.m. tonight to 9 a.m. tomorrow. It says temperatures will warm quickly around sunrise, which will end the threat. This is the advisory that's in place right now for the storm that's coming in later this week. 
Precipitation will change over to snow Thursday night and linger into Friday across the mountains. Only light snow accumulations are expected. See, that's, that's what I was thinking. But it's gonna be windy as hell. I was a little bit torn. Should I go out for the freezing rain one or the snow one? I love snow, but I don't like temps at zero and I don't like the winds being at 55 miles an hour. You all know that I love camping in the snow. I love camping in the cold. But for myself, around zero, that's when it becomes less and less fun. That's just me. I know there's some people out there who love to go camping when it's like negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> I always have a good time reading the comments anytime that I go out for a snow trip. There's always someone who's like putting it down. Oh man, I could do that in my underwear. Oh, that's not even cold. It's not a dick measuring contest. You know what I mean? I find that so strange. <laughs> some people have such low self-esteem, right? That they have to try to boost themselves up even with stupid shit like talking about the weather or how much snow's on the ground or how cold it is. It's really, really interesting. <laughs> it's also kind of funny. I'm talking about a very select few. 99% of my viewers are absolutely incredible. I appreciate you all so much. I appreciate the kind words that I receive every day, the emails, the messages, the packages, the letters. You guys and gals are incredible. And I tell you what, since I'm talking about this, let's go ahead and do some shout outs real quick because I got quite a few to go through. Jerome from Quebec, thank you so much for the Goal Zero Lantern. Dana, my friend, thank you so much for the knife, for the cookies. I hope you're doing well, Merry Christmas. I hope you had a good time at the restaurant. Let me know how it was. We bought him and his wife a uh, gift certificate at a restaurant nearby where he lives. Robert. Thank you so much for writing, my friend, with the kind words. Also, enjoy the Fjall Raven pants. They are incredible. They're pricey, but one pair will last forever as long as you don't <laughs> gain some weight or lose some weight. I'm having that problem. I've been hitting the weights pretty hard and I've packed on about 20 pounds of muscle over the last three and a half months or so. So these pants just barely fit. It makes me sad. Anyway, camp all out. Happy holidays to you, my friend. Thank you so much for the card. Jessica, I hope you're doing well. I wanna thank you again for the beautiful paintings that you've done for Susie and I. I look at them every single day and I love them. You are an amazing artist. To the Gentries, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to you all. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the hike up to Mount Rogers. That's one of my favorite places in the entire world. So hello to John, Jesse, and Matthew. Craig Combs, my friend, my brother, I hope you're doing well. It's always good to hear from you. Thank you so much for everything. You've supported the channel in so many different ways over the years and I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much for the Christmas present. I love it, Susie loves hers. The Bushcraft Spice Kit is very, very cool and I can't wait to use it. Denise and Gary, how's it going everybody? I hope you're doing well. I can't wait to hear about your adventures in 2023. 2023. Ken, thank you so much for the air pump, my friend. I can't wait to use it. It is super small, folks. I mean, it is the smallest air pump I've seen yet. Lastly, Joe, happy holidays, my friend. It's always good to hear from you. With those out of the way, it's time to put on some warmer clothes. I'm getting cold. The sun is completely shrouded by clouds now. The temperature's dropping, and it's really windy. Whew. Folks, it is getting chilly, my friends. This is the Helicon Tex Wolfhound Jacket. So far, I like it pretty good. I've been testing out a whole bunch of Helicon Tex clothing recently, including this wind shirt. I like it. I do. It's not perfect. There are some issues, and I'll talk about those in my review, but it's pretty cool.
This is my glove and hat bag. I also keep a mask in here, which I will put on right now, actually. When it comes to gloves, this is what I like. I have an entire video discussing the type of hats and gloves that I like to wear. I'm sure you're thinking, Luke, how warm can these keep your fingers? Well, pretty warm, actually. I tell you what, I like having the dexterity of my fingers to do what I want to do. I run hot, so if I can keep this part of my hand warm, I'm usually good to go. When it comes to my hat, I like it to be very, very thin. And then lastly, we have the face mask. Which I like to put around my neck as a wind block. Just like that, good to go. I just received a text message from Susie. She just picked up the Land Cruiser. The windows have been tinted, limo black, just the way I like it. At the time of filming this episode, you all haven't even seen it yet. But by the time you see this one, you will have. It's kind of funny. I'm just walking around here, taking a look around the area. So far, I'm loving the Land Cruiser. It is a ton of fun to drive. I still haven't selected a name for it, so if you have one, you know, shoot me a message, comment down below. I'd appreciate it. I'm actually very surprised that I've seen no one traveling this road today. I mean, not a soul. I would have thought that the good old boys have been out here, but not today. It looks like I'm up here by myself. And that's exactly the way I like it. For dinner tonight, I have an Arctic Field Ration Military Surplus. Creamy salmon with pasta. That is hot sauce for sure. I'll try a few drops, but uh, spicy is generally not my friend. That 
It's freaking awesome. <laughs> it is hot and spicy though. You know folks, I'm pretty sure I've camped here before. Pretty sure. This rock fire pit thing is very, very familiar. I've definitely been out in this area, but I don't know it like the back of my hand or anything. Many years ago, a friend and I came out here for a camping trip. I don't remember what shelter I brought, what tent, but I remember what he brought. He had this homemade tarp. It was gigantic, folks. It was the biggest tarp that I had seen at the time. And I remember him like setting it up with like sticks because there were no trees at the campsite. And um, it took him like two hours to get that thing set up. I remember asking him if he wanted any help and he's like, oh no, I'm good, I'm good. And I just like walk around and go explore while he was setting up that tarp. It was hilarious. Mm-hmm. Have you ever known anyone who's abandoned their life and just like disappeared? They just dropped everything, sold everything, and left. That's my buddy. We were pretty close for a while. And then he started going through something, I'm not entirely sure what. It's like he had a very successful photography business and pretty much destroyed it. He had like some very high profile clientele, like big corporations, and he was taking like pictures and whatnot. He didn't process them. He didn't turn them in on time. He lost that job. Then he separates from his wife, leaves his kids. He buys a truck and just takes off. I haven't talked to him in years. He's very strange. Very strange. I tried to. I tried to talk to him, but it didn't work. I'll be honest. This is an eight. With this, it becomes a 10. I just got inside of the tent. It's raining outside. I can't tell if it's icing or anything like that. My phone says that it's 30 degrees, so if that's accurate, it's definitely cold enough to. It's now go time for the light fighter tent. Are there going to be any issues? We'll find out soon enough, won't we? One issue that I have with this tent, and it's rather small, but it is an issue. The corded pools, on all of the zippers, they're coming undone. I've had them come undone on the storage bag. Now I'm having them come undone on the door. It's one of those things where you have like these tiny little knots and they're at the very end of the cordage. They're simply no good. They're coming undone and they will continue to come undone for as long as you have this tent. I've always hated those type of zipper pulls. Again, small issue, but it is an issue. With this tent here, this is the two person. There is a ton of space inside of this. I tested out the one person, and I think it's a fantastic military shelter. It's a fantastic tent. Even if you're not in the military, it is a little bit heavy, but hey, it's strong. The two person version is very, very impressive. I like this quite a bit. The thing is this, I need to get my tape measure out, but this is not a tent for tall guys. or girls, sorry. You know how that goes. More about that later on. For now, everyone, I'm going to get some sleep. It's time to go to bed. I will definitely bring you all back if this tent has a failure of some sort. I don't expect there to be though. Light fighter knows what they're doing. <laughs> I'll tell you this much. The cold weather kit is really, really impressive. 
If you haven't seen my review, check it out. Basically what this thing does is it goes over the mesh material here on the walls and it's blocking all of that breeze that's taking place outside. And at the same time, it's holding in some heat. There are some vents here, so moisture can escape. I've said this a million times. I cannot believe that other companies haven't copied this. It's such a smart idea. <laughs> it really is. Let's see, time-wise, it is 11.30. And I'm going to bed. Everyone, good night. See you in a bit. Let's see what happens with this storm. Let it rain, let it rain. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. As you can see by the camera there, it is a wet, muggy morning. <laughs> Did I get you? <laughs> Let's see here. It is 6.42 in the morning. Still raining outside. It's been raining all night long. Started around 10 o'clock last night, I think. I can't really tell if it's icy or not yet. What I can say is that the tent has kept me dry. There's been no leaks, nothing like that. I've been up for a little bit. I've been looking around the tent. There's no issues. It's done a good job. But I am interested about the ice. So why don't we go ahead and get up, get some coffee going. It's definitely that time. Let's get the tarp up, everyone. It is, without a doubt, wet. There is some ice, mostly on the leaves, on the rope, whatnot. The temperature has to be right at freezing. For an example, the tent has no ice on it, meaning that I was able to produce enough heat on the inside to keep all of the ice off. But there is some ice on the elevated surfaces. It's still breezy, and the winds have changed direction. Instead of coming this way, they're now coming this way. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's how it goes, my friends. That's how it goes. Having the stove going is rather nice. That little bit of heat, just to warm up your fingers, it's perfect. What's not perfect is that breeze coming in. I could change the orientation of this, but I'd rather not, not really. It's raining hard enough out there that I would have to put on my rain gear to do it, so I'll just put up with it. It's with conditions like this that it can be rather miserable. That doesn't mean it's not fun though, right? Sometimes misery could be a lot of fun. How do I describe it? It's like accomplishing something. You go out into the elements, you get tested. It's not always fun. It doesn't always feel good, right? But in here, it does a lot of good. Let's go with some Taster's Nasty. 
two packs of Tasters Nasty, living on the edge, that's what I do. Should I go three? No. That'd be suicide. So I'll go with this one. Three and one. Sounds good. Do I want to eat? Not really. Cheers, my friends, cheers. It's nice just to hold it. It's amazing. The unfortunate thing about the weather is that I'm not going to be able to film my hike out of here. I have my GoPro, but when I turned it on today, I realized I left the memory card at the house. So, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> As far as the trek out of here, basically what I have to do is hike this road. There's a connector trail over here, and I'm gonna take a few miles and go down. That's where I'll get to my truck. It's gonna be a good trek. For the most part, it'll be easy. It's all downhill from here. I'm not sure how much elevation I came up to get here, but it was substantial, so it's all downhill. Not very steep, which is good for my knees. All in all, I'm pleased with this trip. There's some freezing rain, but it's not too bad. Tree limbs aren't coming down or nothing like that. And it wasn't forecasted to be all that bad. I want to make sure to state that. I'm not doing anything reckless. I never do. And you shouldn't do it either. <laughs> when I was young, my friends and I, we had a saying, live life, taste death. And I have lived by that my entire life. You have to be smart, right? You have to take care of yourself. You have to plan. It's all about being smart. I just received an email from a guy named David. We'll give him a shout out. How's it going, buddy? It's good to hear from you. He was recommending that I carry some sort of like multi-tool like a Leatherman. I'm no stranger to those. I have plenty of them, but I do not carry them with me when I'm in the outdoors. I find that 99% of the time I use nothing but the knife blade and that's it. Those tools are so heavy, I can't really justify the weight by carrying them. What I like to carry is the Kershaw Pyro 2 right here. I love this knife. There's not much to do besides finish up the coffee, break everything down, which is always a chore when it's raining like this. I will have to put on my rain gear, rain jacket, rain pants. The temperature is too low to get soaking wet. My friends, I wanna say Happy New Year to you all. I'm looking forward to 2023. Can you believe it? Another year done. We are going to have some incredible adventures this year. I'm really excited about it. I'm curious, folks. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? If so, what are they? Comment down below. My friends, thank you all very much for joining me for this trip. It's been a lot of fun. The Fido two-person from Light Fighter. So far with my testing, it's just as good as the military variant. There's very little differences here. The materials are made in the US, but it is assembled overseas. Not in China, Vietnam, I'm pretty sure. But I like it, good tint. Everyone, happy new year, folks. Cheers, strength and honor. <laughs> it's funny, every time I wrap up a video, right? To me, it's a big accomplishment because every time I go out to film one of these trips, it's an unbelievable amount of work, but luckily I love it. I love it. I started doing adventures every week as soon as COVID started, and I haven't let up. One adventure per week since COVID started. <laughs> I'm on a roll. That's a lot, it is. I do it for you all, but I also do it for myself. I love getting out and filming it. I love it too, it's fun. Anyways, I'm rambling. Bye, everybody.